how do you show that you love your teachers? We do their homework <laughs> and get A1 for our exam. Nice. Welcome to Mothership Hits the Street. News about teachers in Singapore are not new. There have been many news articles and discussions on challenges teachers in Singapore face, which has also been discussed in Parliament. So we wanted to hit the street to find out what people think about these challenges, the measures that were introduced, and their thoughts on working in schools. What is the day in the life of a teacher like? Oh, it's chaotic. Uh, I assume that they sleep in the school. Right? <laughs> It's very chaotic because you're dealing with like different classes. You have to think of a new lesson every day and maybe not even like one lesson, maybe like four lessons and you have to plan that. They have their break times where they usually spend marking your exam papers and all that. So we actually really understand their lifestyle because like during teacher's day, some teachers come for sharing to tell us about it. We love our teachers, yeah. yeah. How do you show that you love your teachers? We do their homework <laughs> and get A1 for our exams. Nice. Yeah, like, yes. Don't yeah. us give you behave, ah, then you get A1. Ah. That's the best gift for us. Do you think teachers are overworked these days? Yeah, because yeah, my teachers are like proceeding. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell? Yeah. <laughs> the hours are long. As it is, I think they don't really have much of a break. Confirm can tell one. You, you, they will sit at the table and they'll... <sighs> <laughs> and then when you call a question, they're like, yes, what? There's some teachers who are more open. They'll tell you, oh, I feel burnt out and I don't irritate me. I'm really very irritated by something. My friends who are teachers right now in MOE, some of them shared that it's harder now because of the, the expectations that the parents have. During my time and now, that's a lot of difference. Because most of the schools are emphasizing on uh, performance academic so pressure is also on the students as well as on the teachers I just thought you mentioned that you guys have a whatsapp chat with your teachers yes yeah what do you do in that whatsapp chat or what do you say in the whatsapp chat is mostly just the teachers texting so if they need to like tell us something that they haven't told in class to prepare us for like the next lesson they'll just tell that have you asked your teacher uh, any questions via whatsapp before yes like what when we're preparing for exams, sometimes they'll, the teachers will allow us to just uh, message them freely, la, but not too late at night, of course. So at this age, right, do they have like a WhatsApp group chat with their teachers? At their age, no. Normally, we will uh, get notifications via Parents Gateway or by email. My oldest is in secondary school, but she doesn't have a chat group with her teachers from what I know. Probably only for like extracurricular activities if they need to meet somewhere. But she can reach her uh, teacher quite easily via, um, I think it's uh, Microsoft Teams. When I was schooling, I don't have a group chat. So I'm curious to ask, like, do you think a, a group chat or such group chats are like necessary? They're very helpful in case like something is missed out. So it's mm -hmm. convenient for the teachers to like inform us on what to do. But then it's not necessary, la. I think. In the past also, people have managed without group chats. WhatsApp group may be okay, but I think this can be quite misused also, where overly protective parents may use it to just really pressure the teachers. I think there's pros and cons. I don't think it's very healthy for my children to depend too much on that proximity of interaction because whatever that is communicated in the classroom, they should know. They should not be depending on outside interaction with the teachers, you know, for certain information that they might miss out. You know, there are some measures that like the MOE has launched out also, including a chatbot that uh, teachers can use to share their worries or like when they are stressed, they can talk to the chatbot. How do you think about this? Yeah, at least there is an avenue for them. I think it's really important because like, you know, teachers themselves are also human beings. They have feelings, they feel stressed at moments, personal life, family and all that. And they, they may have financial struggles. We never know because they always put up a very good front to us. I think it's a really good way that the government is trying to like get their attention, know that they are hurt. I think that is, sounds good, but in the end it's whether there's action done, right? Um, even if feedback is given, but then nothing is really helping the teachers, then it may not be helpful. But definitely, at least it just provides some outlet for the teachers to, to share and maybe they can share it anonymously also for those who struggle with uh, mental illnesses as well. I used to teach, so I, I think a little differently. I think that parents play a very huge part in determining the well-being of my, my, my child's teachers. Lah. I mean, at the end of the day, if they are not doing well, it won't benefit my child also, right? What do you think about the recent pay increment for teachers? Of course, it's good. It is very appreciated. I think it's definitely good. At least uh, it will show that you appreciate at the same time also, hopefully you may retain. This is actually necessary with current inflation prices. I think this is just a minimum of what the government should be doing. We have a lot of respect. Um, from overseas for our MOE and our education system here and I think a lot more should be done 
for teachers to compensate them for their efforts and the quality that they bring in terms of their teaching to, to the schools. Do you have any teachers that you want to give a shout out to? A shout out to Miss Lin, uh, who uh, teaches shout out, Yeah, shout out to my art teacher because I'm taking back my exam papers too. Mr. Panjian, I think you're always making lessons very interesting and you always enjoy teaching and it's always very like uh, nice to have your enthusiasm when you come into the class. Mr. Dylan Chua from Nanhua Primary School. I think he's someone who I still time to time keep in contact now. Shout out to all the teachers that have taught us right now, impacted our lives in many different ways. Not to our teachers, but I think to all the teachers in Singapore. Uh, Y'all are doing a really great job in teaching us. I mean, I mean we, may, we may not show it, but uh, we really appreciate it. In, Just in, know that you impacted us in all the ways possible. So in conclusion, Teaching is really not an easy job. What do you think? Share with us in the comment section. And students, disturb your teachers at your own risk. Ah. Will you want to become a teacher when you grow up? Personally, no. Because I know the struggles they feel. I know that I know how much pain they go through, no matter even if it's like home-based learning or whatever. You know, people who go to office usually, they at least have their break time, but teachers, there's no break for y'all. I would become a teacher personally because I get to pick on the students. Huh? I'll be like, yeah, I can pick on the students, so that's like the really good part. The bad part is I have to mark papers. Yeah. But maybe I'll become a teacher. Okay. Maybe.